Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander. Last time we completed our business in the Rostov system and got re-upgraded to the Black Lion Squadron and now we're here in the Venice system and that is a good thing because this is actually the last series of missions in the game. We've made it to the final system in the game, so let's check it out. Yep, the heart of Kilrothi space. So this is the uh, the equivalent of like Kilra or the aerial system from Wing Commander 3. Karak Tara, what does that mean? Is a water world? Wait, so why are the cats in a water world? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You know, you know what I mean? I thought cats hated water. Because the ancient ruins sink into the ocean. Well, shouldn't you call this the Atlantis system then? If there's ruins sinking into the water? Yeah, so... Oh, I see. They put their base in the system of an orbital station. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. So there's a base here we can take out. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Let's see how it... What? Why did they put my name on the bottom of the kill board? What? I've got the most kills. Why am I on the bottom? Did I make a mistake or something? That's weird. Kaja. Wait, have we, have we fought Kaja yet? Can't remember. Huh. I guess he, he is around here somewhere then. Hmm. All right. So tell me about Kaja. Can we take him out easily? Ah, nice. Oh, so it sounds like he killed him. Great. So what's the problem? Hmm. He sounds like he's pretty resilient then. Fires a missile, yeah. Ooh. Come on, Paladin. I need you to step up. Need a better effort there, buddy. Ah, he got away. All right. We'll get him. We'll get him. What's up, Hunter? Oh, hey, great. So we get to fly with Hunter and the Mega Sideburns for the final missions of uh, Wing Commander. So that's pretty cool. All right. And the Rapier Fighter is nice. Yeah, oh, you're going to like him, man. I've flown in them before. They're pretty sweet. Yep, that's true. Well, you know, yeah, and we can use the lasers, but I'm going to use nothing but neutron guns just because they're pretty powerful. And, yeah, we should be in good shape with that. So, yep, doing good Venice system. So let's see what the game plan is. All right. Yeah, thank you. I still think this should be called Atlantis, but whatever. Okay, great. Mm hmm. Ah, so there's a star base here. So are we going to try and take it out? Yeah, so I, I think that's the plan. Okay, so, ah, so of course, before you can do anything, you got to have a patrol. Yep, to find out exactly where everything is. Okay, so four wings. Thank you for that information. Ah, we get the fifth assignment. Oh, awesome. That's going to be fun. Yep. Alpha, beta, gamma, deplon, epsilon. Yep. So, epsilon is the fifth letter of the Greek, Greek alphabet, so we are definitely on epsilon wing. Glad to be on your wing there, Mike. Glad to have you there, buddy. Oh, man. Masteroids. Ugh. <laughs> I almost said masteroids and iron fields instead of asteroids and minefields. Wow. It's late when I'm recording these viewers. What can I say? Okay, so. Oh, we're going to fly by one of our own extras. Great. I hope we don't blow it up. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Oh, Kirothi Mines. Okay, we can deal with that. Ah, oh, we got this. We, we had to deal with a bunch of that crap at Rostov, so we're good. Hmm. All right, fair enough. Welcome to enemy ships. It does... Dude, seriously, Blair, we got this. It doesn't matter. We can tell you, take out anything. They can even send a friggin' carrier at us, and we'll be all right. Do we mix... It? Dude, Hunter. What the hell, man? Of course we mix it up. And... Okay, I get to make the call? Hmm. I wonder what we're going to be doing. Let's do it. Alright, let's go find that starbase. Alright. Let's uh, auto go over to that Exeter and... Hazard near? What are you talking about? There's no hazard on my map. But actually, if you pull up the... Ha Whoa! Yeah, for some reason, if you pull up the map... Um, and then come right back, all of a sudden we're... All all of a sudden, an asteroid belt, which doesn't, or what, which wasn't there in the uh, briefing, which is kind of strange, but yeah, whatever. Okay, so you can take kind of slow and get over the extra there. The asteroids really aren't going to start to appear until uh, there will eventually be some green ships on the screen. As soon as they come up, then you need to start being aware because all of a sudden asteroids can start to appear there. So be careful and just kind of maintain and watch. Always be constantly watching that auto light too. See if I, yeah, there they come. See, yeah, there you go. So as soon as the auto light comes up, uh, you can, or as soon as those green ships appear, you can auto over to the Exeter and uh, take care of that there. 
And, okay, let's do that real quick, and then slow down. And there we go. Now, once again, you want to be careful because it says there's a hazard near, and asteroids can appear suddenly. So just, I'll show you that real fast. Yeah, see, we're right in the middle of an asteroid belt. So as soon as you pull up, yeah, there they are. So, yeah, so uh, occasionally the asteroids may appear, occasionally they won't. So just be careful. Just kind of be constantly watching your monitor and um, watch for that. Now, as soon as you get into Nav 2, immediately slow down because... You just wait, wait for it, wait for it. There they go. Yeah, we're in a minefield. So uh, you got to watch out for that. Again, same strategy as before. Just uh, wait and see if there's any uh, mines that you need to deal with. And if not, then immediately begin your attack on the Jalfies. Now, just like before, uh, you want to follow the Jalfie around. And I've discovered, uh, kind of just by accident, Hunter, go get him, actually, uh, by accident, that when you're tailing a Jalfie, uh, it actually is not a bad idea to switch over to your full guns. And they can actually take out, they can actually take out this Jalfie fairly quickly. Even though uh, it takes your guns a long time to charge, it, uh, you know, those couple extra shots can make a huge difference. Let's see if I can... Yeah, there we go. See? Just like that. That was much faster. Well, yeah, Jalfie's got good forward power, so watch for that. Don't want to get yourself blown up. That would be a bad thing. And if Hunter, uh, by the way, decides to get in on the action, let him do it. We've got enough kills uh, now that no one's going to catch us in the kill board. So it's all a matter of personal choice. If you, if you absolutely want to have all those kills, then by all means, you know, do it. But if you don't, then don't worry about it. We'll use our full guns here to finish this thing off. How about a missile? There we go. Now let's use a missile. Now, again, as soon as you're done with that, watch it because the mines could suddenly reappear. Now, getting through minefields is just like getting through an asteroid field, so let me take care of that real quick and be back once I'm done with that. All right. And we've managed to navigate through those, and we're done with that. So let's head over to Nav 3 now. See what's going on over there. See if we can find any star bases or anything like that. Always be on the lookout. Whoa! Yep, there's some asteroids. Man, there's just there's just debris everywhere in the system. Why do the Kilrathi like this system so much if there's so much debris here? I don't get this. I guess they want some minerals or something. But anyways, let me take care of this asteroid field. Be back in a moment. 